Hi everyone. So, I don't know when I last filmed, but I am so, so ill. Like, I am. I probably don't look ill because I've got makeup on, but I'm unbelievably ill at the moment. I've been ill for, I think I'm on day 11 now. And I know I'm permanently walking around with an illness, which I've had for about 18 months now. And that flares up and then like calms down and flares up and calms down. So normally I'm at 50% health the majority of the time anyway. Um, but the symptoms I got don't correlate with that illness. Um, and I'm getting worse and worse every day. Like I'm at the stage where for a few days ago I would start to get better but I haven't done. And it's really, really frustrating me because every day I wake up I feel worse. I feel like I've not slept in about two weeks. Yesterday I felt like I'd not slept in a week, so that's showing that even though I am sleeping, when I'm waking up the next day, I'm pretty much exhausted and feeling like I've not slept for weeks. Like, literally, I'm just so exhausted. It's unreal, and... Oh, God, the back door just slammed itself and scared me to death. So, I'm just permanently worn out. And the only reason I've got makeup on is because I don't know if you can pick up these spots, but I am breaking out hideously for the last week. And normally when I'm ill, I wouldn't do a full on face of makeup. I would probably just put some brow product on and mascara, but I've not been able to do that just because um, I just want to cover up my skin when I went out. But I've been home 10 minutes and I think I'm going to go and take my makeup off because it is actually irritating me. But I just didn't want to go out feeling physically unwell and struggling with anxiety and not have a face full of makeup on, basically. Um, but I just feel absolutely horrendous today. Like, I've woken up with quite a sore throat and um, it's a dry sore throat as well, which is worse. Um... So I've just got some fresh ginger and lemon and I put that in hot water um, from the kettle with manuka honey and that does help. I mean, it stops it from getting worse from experience. I'm not saying it helps, but I'd like to believe it helps and gets me better faster. Um, it's really warm today. I know it's 17 degrees and that's probably not warm to some people, but I've actually got a temperature. So the fact that it's warm and now I've got this temperature, it's not very pleasant for me um, to feel this way. Um, <clears throat> and I've got a little bit of a cough as well. So I'll do you a quick rundown of, of my symptoms because this is going to be like one of those one take video clips. Um, basically, achy all over. I mean, basically what I'm going to describe is the flu, but I don't have the flu. So I'm achy all over, I feel like I've not slept for days and every day that I wake up I feel more exhausted than the day before when I should be getting better because I'm on day 11. Um, I've really got a dry mouth constantly, my throat's dry and scratchy and sore today. I've got a headache and it's a type of headache when you, what you get with, when you've got a cold or flu. I feel dizzy, um, I feel a little bit nauseous, I've been having stomach pains as well. I don't know what else I have, even though I'm hot and sweating, like I'll be hot and sweating, but I'll be cold, so I guess I've got a fever of some sort, um, I just, I don't feel good at all and um, it's affecting me mentally, it's like making me feel more depressed, like feeling ill is not a nice thing anyway, but when you're on day 11 of it and you're getting worse, it, it's really not good, so I've just been to Tesco, I forgot stuff of course. I was just going to get loads of crap to snack on. Where's my Orange Lucas Aid? I bought an Orange Lucas Aid. I bet it's in the car. Oh, God, it's so annoying. It's probably in the car. I only remember because I've already had one today. And then the remains of it's in the fridge. And then yesterday's I've just took out because that's finished with. Um, so, yeah, my throat is just annoying me. You could probably tell in my voice because I can hear my voice isn't normal. Um, but it, it's it's really annoying because obviously being ill for 11 days, it's just taking the piss. It's really taking the piss out of me. And I just can't seem to shake whatever it is. And 
like I'm not taking lots of stuff for it because what can I possibly take? I've had painkillers once or twice a day for the last two days but before that I didn't have anything because I just don't know what to take and the headache only came on in about the last three possibly four days so it's not like I can um, it's not like I can just take painkillers for no reason like I need a reason and, and so I'm not going to get anything done today. I literally struggled to even get ready to go out. Like, I literally, literally struggled to do it. And, um... I know you can see my hand, but I need to swap. Um, literally, I went upstairs to, like, get in the shower, because I knew I had to have a shower. And I, I stupidly got in my bed. And it took me about half an hour to get back out of my bed and I was lucky I didn't fall asleep because I'm really tired and it's like ten past five now but there is no way I'm going to go and get in bed because if I sleep now, I'll probably be asleep for about two or three hours. I'll wake feeling worse, that's a guarantee. And then I won't sleep tonight, I'll probably be up till six, seven in the morning. Even though I obviously need the sleep because I'm obviously ill. Sounds like um but am I having to lean now because my arms hurt him. Yeah, I just, <coughs> oh yeah, I got some meatballs from the shop and I'm gonna make a homemade sauce because I wanna put loads of garlic in it and I'm hoping having garlic will help as well. Um, it's not the weather to have meatballs, but I need to try and get better. I've got a doctor's appointment on Wednesday and what happens with me is, <laughs> I either get sick, like leading up to my doctor's appointment, and by the time I go, I'm a lot better, and obviously sh they don't give a shit, because they don't, or I get ill after I've been. That eyebrow's a bit dodgy, what have I done? Um, I remember like, maybe two months ago I went to the doctor's, and then the day after I came down with this hideous illness, and by the time I went back two weeks later, because I see my doctor every two weeks at the moment, I was fine. So that's normally what happens with me. But Hi everyone, it's Monday the 3rd of July. Um, I thought I'd just quickly film before I get changed because for once I'm actually <laughs> put together... I only put my hair up when I'm at home, so as soon as I got back from the shop, this went straight in because I was too hot and sweaty and I'm on day 13 of being ill. Um, I don't feel any better, I feel worse. Um, my sore throat isn't as bad as it was yesterday and the day before, but I think that's because I've been drinking honey, lemon and fresh ginger. I think that's helped a lot. Tesco as always, so I just thought, I just tr I'm trying to like make more of an effort with what I'm wearing because I was living in my favourite jeans that I rolled up with trainers and like long sleeve t-shirt and because I would like to be um, smarter and stuff I thought I'd make an effort and I wore this the other day and I got a bit of makeup on it so I thought I might as well just wear it again you can't see it when I'm wearing it because it kind of like folds like that because it is slightly too big even though it's my size my size Normally I have to get it to fit my stomach because that's where I carry on my weight and then it's a bit baggier everywhere else but that's what I've got to live with. So I just put a black vest top underneath it and it still looks good but I just feel like it would look better with white underneath. Um, so I've been uploading clips to this channel. Um, I'm a bit annoyed with myself because a lot of them have been like two, three, four minutes long so that means I can't use my phone anywhere from half an hour to an hour and a half. Um, but I've been uploading them and I've got to a clip that's about five and a half minutes long and I'm not going to upload that. Today I'm going to stop with the uploads to this channel, um, I think, for today. I don't know when I'm going to update it again next, um, possibly won't be today. Every time like, I put my makeup on I always go, oh I'm going to take it off as soon as I get in and I don't. And I feel like I need to go out later on because the birds ran out of food and I forgot to get some and I feel bad. And if I don't get it today, they won't get it till the middle of the afternoon tomorrow. But if I go tonight later on, at least they can have it in the morning, if that makes sense. I know it's just birds and everything, but I just feel bad for them when they're used to being, they're being bird seed and then there is none. I feel a bit cruel, but 
that's just me. So I'll update as and when but my priority is to get the majority of the videos off this phone onto this channel by next Monday and that's Hi everyone, I didn't actually plan on filming at all today but I thought I'll just do one or two one minute clips and leave it as that. It's just after 9pm, I thought it was after 10pm but it's only after 9pm. just got dressed for the second time today. I didn't have this on earlier. I had um, black super skinny jeans on um, and that new blouse top that you will have seen by now. But I've just put jeans on, my favourite jeans that I were living in, and a black um, long sleeve t-shirt because Tesco. I've already been once today but I'm really, really ill. Um, I'm not feeling any better. I'm feeling worse, um, which is not good. And in the last half an hour, 45 minutes, I've developed a really bad toothache. So I'm going to take my painkillers now and then I'm going to go to the shop. Hi everyone, so it's about 45 minutes later and I've been to Tesco and I've come to the place where I always used to film but I first went to my new place that I've started to film at um, but I just thought I'd come round here and see if there was anyone here and then just park up here when I basically could have stayed where I was. I got too fake. I've had a packet of Seabrook Chris and drank some of that. Too fake is probably the most evil thing on the planet. If you agree with me, comment below. But it is. I hate it. But seeing as I've got like everything else going wrong with me at the moment physically and mentally, so why not throw in a too fake? It's killing me though. It really is. And I had painkillers 45 minutes ago, so yes. Is there a trick to too fake? I've got a feeling that I meant to take something and I've took something before and I've got rid of it and it weren't normal painkillers. What was it? I've got codeine. Was it codeine? I don't know what it was. But yeah, like I went to Tesco and um, I've been craving savoury food and that's my problem because if it was sweet food I wouldn't have needed to go out. Well, I did want cold drinks. So I've got cheese and biscuits and a chutney. I don't know what I was thinking because I don't like cheese. So, obviously I wasn't thinking, oh, this toothache's really bad. Um, I weren't thinking, obviously. And I didn't even plan to come for a drive, but I thought one of the reasons I don't really want to film at home at the moment is because I'm sick of being at home. But I don't want to be out. But I keep thinking, why am I filming at home? It's just boring rubbish. And plus, I don't want to film too much because I meant to take something and I've took something before and I've got rid of it. And it weren't normal painkillers. What was it? I've got codeine. Was it codeine? I don't know what it was. Um. But yeah, like I went to Tesco and um, I've been craving savoury food and that's my problem because if it was sweet food, I wouldn't have needed to go out. Well, I did want cold drinks. Um, so I've got cheese and biscuits and a chutney. I don't know what I was thinking because I don't like cheese. So obviously I wasn't thinking, oh this toothache's really bad. I weren't thinking, obviously. And I didn't even plan to come for a drive but I thought one of the reasons I don't really want to film at home at the moment is because I'm sick of being at home. But I don't want to be out. But I keep thinking, why am I filming at home? It's just boring rubbish. And plus, I don't want to film too much because I'm then having to upload them. And I uploaded like, um, I think it was either a five and a half minute or a six and a half minute clip today. And it took over an hour. And I've not uploaded anything else since. So, I don't know. Like, there's just like maybe 150 clips to upload still. And I'm struggling and I want to get the bulk of them up this week but there's a lot of long ones and then there's a lot of 8, 10 minute ones and 12 minute ones which I can only do overnight and it's really frustrating me. So I'm trying to get as many done in the day as I can but I hope that I wake up a lot in the night and normally I do but it tends to be now that I want to wake up in the night. I'm not waking up or when I'm waking up I'm forgetting to go and see if the previous upload's finished and then upload my next one so it's a bit, well it's annoying me to be honest and... It's frustrating me as well because I want to get all these clips up because before then so I'm not under enormous pressure to continually upload all the time to try and get a video up when it's due up and I don't even know how many videos a week or how long they're going to be 